not necessarily sure if this is gonna work or not, but I'm turning the phone around. I'm on cinematic mode. I don't know what the image stabilization is like on cinematic mode. Got too many freaking cars right beside me here. And yeah, today might start off as a morning of doing it all wrong. Maybe from starting with filming to getting ready to grab the trailer. Uh, and possibly going to try to do landscape today when, per usual, landscape is falling on. Not a good day to be doing landscape, just to be honest. Could it be a sign of the times? Ooh. I gotta get that. I hear you, truck. I hear Sure do miss Damon already. Yeah, I do. All right, taking the trailer with me this morning. Uh, maybe gonna go do landscape. Maybe gonna be the last time that I ever do landscape. How many times have I said that? So, whew, Thursday morning as I begin this, 7.25. Damn, is it 7.30? Shit, I'm late. 7.30 in the morning and getting the show on the road. We've got one unit going for today and man, I hope today is better than the way yesterday was. I'll probably be doing landscape by myself today. Will it even be, will the grass even need to be cut? Probably not. I'm sure they're gonna have some leaves on the ground and we've got the remnants of Hurricane Ian probably gonna be giving us a bunch of rain for the next four or five days after today. So today's really the only day that I can go do landscape. Today's also check day from landscape, getting paid day. And man, do I need that considering I'm waiting on a whole lot of money from painting work. Sure hope those checks come in today because I ain't gonna lie to you, when they didn't come in yesterday, man, I was feeling all sorts of crazy like, I'm getting ready to send me some emails. If they do not come in today, I will be sending those emails. I heard a story about another painting company who sent some invoices just recently. Uh, and these invoices were only from a week or two prior. And then they sent some past due notices, I think yesterday. And when inquired about those past due notices, painting company said, oh, we've changed from net 30 to net 15 because work is slowing down from for me and I need to get paid. Man, I think to myself, you know, work is going to start slowing down because of the colder months. People just don't move during the colder months for whatever reason is what I'm being told. And, you know, if you ain't got the capital to be able to sustain your business between invoices, damn right, you better change to net 15. Anyways, the company told them, go fuck themselves, basically. You'll get paid when you get paid, and we ain't doing no net 15, uh, which, you know, is unfortunate for the painter, but it is what it is. I am going to start, with all invoices moving forward, I'm going to start including a clause that after 30, it is a 2 to 5% late fee. And that's how all invoices are worded. Don't pay me if you want to. Uh, you can pay that late fee. And think about how late my invoices are. I've got invoices that are almost two weeks late. Pretty close to two weeks late. But anyways, those checks are coming. I know they are. Got a new guy starting today, and I'm, uh, I hope I got this new guy starting today. I'm going to need to touch base with him in just a little bit to confirm. But we confirmed yesterday, and everything seemed good. But you never know until they actually show up or they don't. So hopefully this guy will show up. I really have high hopes for this guy and like i had mentioned yesterday house cleaning is going to commence we've only got one unit going for today it's just a repaint i've seen the unit it's a big or three bedroom unit bigger three bedroom unit but it's not a vaulted unit it's a downstairs unit there's some ceiling work that needs to be painted ceilings need to be painted in this unit and 
the one issue that we've got first thing smoking before we even get to if everybody's going to show up or not today because that's another thing will everybody show up today is oh I sure hope y'all let me merge because I'm going to have to try to just jump out on you I'm just going to have to try to jump out on you mm. very nice of you is we don't have enough paint for this unit. I meant to get that paint ordered yesterday and I never got a chance to do it. Uh, was just tied up on a lot of other things, obviously. We've got a little bit of paint to at least get started. So before I even go do landscape, I'm gonna go pick up five gallons of paint. That's all we would need to get through this. Yeah, shit, I think that's all we would need. Might need 10. We probably got like two or three, maybe. I don't even know how much paint we got. Just the other day, we were sword fighting out of a final five gallons, meaning I had both spray machines running out of the final five gallons. Now watch how you're gonna try to act like you're not gonna let me get in, but I'm just gonna cut you off anyways, and you're gonna, you're gonna let me get in. I'm gonna show you how we merge around here. Sorry. So yeah, I'm gonna need to get paint this morning. Um, will everybody show up today? Ain't no telling. How did the unit come out? Oh shit. How did the unit come out that was being done yesterday? Ain't no telling. Hope it came out good. I'll check on that unit. I'll pick up paint. I'll load up landscape. We will make this day a good day no matter what. Today is gonna be a good day, y'all. It's Thursday. It's going to be a good day. To anybody who's down in Florida, down south, dealing with Hurricane Ian, I truly hope that you guys are all right down there. I saw on the news just how bad that storm is. They said that's the worst storm to make landfall uh, at Florida, in Florida, um, in a long time. So truly hope you guys are all right down there. All right, let's get this day underway. We're fighting hella traffic already first thing in the morning. And... Optimism is the key word for today. Let's be optimistic. Checking on the unit from yesterday. Looks pretty good. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Making sure everything has been hit. Oh, shelves. Gotta remember to put those shelves back in. That was. Everything looks good with those. I'm very concerned about walls in this unit and how they came out. Okay, everything's looking good, looking good. 
Looking good. Looking good. Yeah. Trim. That's looking good. Trim. Just looking good. Just gotta check everything, cuz. It's easy to let some stuff get by you. We had a lot of issues with this carpet in here yesterday. This room we had a lot of issues with. So, let me open up the blinds. Get a little light going in here and make sure this room came out all right. So it was in this room where all the trouble began for us yesterday. Well, part of the trouble. And that was in relation to the batch of paint that we had just we had a couple of different batches of paint that definitely didn't look great not bad good job i'm good with that good with that okay well it looks good shelves where are the shelves at ah there they are gotta make sure we're putting them shelves back in i won't hear the end of that This unit looks really good. Happy with this. Uh, there were some issues with this piece of casing. Looks okay. Okay. And looks a little shaky down there. But overall. We're all good. All right, this unit is done. All right, again, the theme for today is front-facing cameras, front-facing cameras, not the selfie cameras. So I'm gonna try to get familiar with using these front-facing cameras all the time. All right, I'm in the one unit that we've got going for today, and we've already seen this unit. If you'll remember, this is where those drywall repairs were in the hallway that I said looked good. Oh, we got a light in here now. Yeah, so there's one of the drywall repairs. And then there's another one. You can see that's bubbled up even more now. Um, I really ought to take a picture of that and show them, hey, look, this is what you're paying for. Damn. I hope they didn't charge a lot for those repairs. Okay. I learned a valuable lesson the other day about ceiling fans while painting. Don't never have ceiling fans running while you're painting. It sounds simple enough, but let me tell you, it's not. And in fact, it can lead to a world of shit. Yeah, it can. This is just a repaint. In fairly good condition. Got some screws right there. We can get those taken out the wall. They were painted over once. We're not gonna paint over them twice. Looks like they've already turned this unit, uh, given the fact that all the lights work. And the other day when I came in here, I don't think they all did. I don't remember that hallway light working. Hey Joe, how you doing today? Well, gotta be honest, I'm actually doing, I'm actually doing pretty swell. A uh, new guy is starting today. He has confirmed. He, he, he has confirmed. There we go. I can look at myself there. Yeah, he has confirmed and good deal. Bo and his girl are on the way. 
And I haven't talked with Donald today. Milton won't be here today. He requested a day off. No big deal with that. And I don't know. Uh, I just don't know necessarily about Donald. Donald probably has the inclination that it's probably, uh, you know, getting close to being over for him. And I hate to say that, man, because I genuinely like the dude. But there's been some unsettling things that, well, uh, I don't know. Okay, ceiling fan. Is that off? That's, that's off. There you go. Damn, they've got a window tint on these windows. Huh. All right. So this unit's ready to rock and roll. Need to continue unloading paint in here. Got plenty of paint to bring in. So let me get this. Load it in, and Bo and his girl should be here shortly, and the new guy should be here as well. Got to pick up paint, talk to, the, talk to them about getting paint, going to need that. And, yeah, let's get this unit done. Let's get this unit done. Front-facing camera. This is a familiar unit right here. Yeah, it is. All right, 2.50 something in the afternoon, 2.50 in the afternoon. I don't like that little spot that I see right there. And I'm standing in a unit that we've already painted. This is not a callback. This is just additional work. Uh, two doors. Come paint two doors. I think back to this unit. Damn, what in the world is that? How did that not get painted? What the fuck? Come on, man. Looks like shit right there, too. Looks like shit right there, too. Damn, how did that not get painted? Damn, that looks bad. I might need to get that touched up. Anyways, I'm over here. They called me for two doors. So they put two new bedroom doors on. Here's a door right here and uh needs to get painted and here's the other one right here no biggie 40 bucks uh might do those for 30 a piece so anyways 250 in the afternoon how is today going joe didn't you have a new guy start today did he show up uh did he not show up you haven't filmed anything today to let us know and if i haven't i do apologize for that and the reason i haven't is because Dude did show up. I say did. And he's still here. Yeah, he is. He's actually working out really well. Uh, really good dude. I, li I like him. I like him a lot. Um, we're going to call this guy... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I was going to call him. I was going to make up a name for him. But anyways, we're just going to call him New Dude. New Dude number 40. Uh, actually, that's what we'll call him. We'll call him 40. So yeah, 40 showed up today, and hey, it's been working out. Me and him went and did landscape. He knew how to ride a zero turn. He's a sober, clean-cut guy. He's got a colorful past, really interesting past. Man, he is an interesting dude. No drugs. He has been in some trouble in his past, but he's a real solid dude. His girl is in the same line of work as my wife and... I thought that was really interesting. Damn it, man. The more I look at this thing, I'm like, oh, that's a light spot right there. Shit. I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna need this touched up. Yeah, right in there too. Right in there. God, it just looks bad. Looks bad. Um, but anyways, I like the guy a lot. It's been working out. So he's painting trim right now. He cut grass with me. Bo and his girl there. Uh, painting the unit that we've got for today. I've been over there painting that unit as well. And I just wanted to come see these doors that need to get painted. And also share with you guys a little of what it's been like today. And it's been good. It's been a good day. 
I heard from property fuck, uh, seven, I think. Property seven, I think, is the property with the big repair in the sky where we need the JLG lift to get to that. Well, they didn't call me about that, but they did call me about units, so we are gonna begin painting for them in October. So that's gonna be awesome. I also heard from property one, they approved the hallway job, the 17.5, hall, 17.5, 1750 hallway job. Uh, so there's some work and we got one unit going tomorrow. I may actually begin the hallway job tomorrow. We'll just have to see. Uh, but today is such a much better day than yesterday. Donald's not here today. I didn't even call Donald. Donald will hit me up around lunchtime saying, is everything okay, Joe? And you know, he, you gotta, I don't, I want to keep Donald, but we'll just have to see. I really do want to keep Donald, but I've heard some disturbing things about Donald that make me question whether that's the right thing to do or not. Milton might be back tomorrow too. Uh, say might be, he should be back tomorrow. He took a day off today. We ain't got but one unit going tomorrow, so we'll see. Maybe I'll put him and Donald on that, and then I'll take me and the new guy, uh, 40, and Bo and his girl. And we'll go sailing tomorrow. <laughs> like, I, don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I found that so funny. But anyways, we'll go uh, maybe do the hallway job or I don't know. Just want to share with you guys today. It's been a really good day. I'm happy that it's been a really good day. We're going to go get this unit done, come over here, paint these doors, and ain't a whole hell of a lot more going on today. I got paid from landscape today. That was great. And I hope I get paid from all this fucking painting work. Sure hope there's some checks today because I need them. But um, yeah. All right, we'll carry on and share more at the end of the day. Alrighty, 5.30 in the evening and heading home for the day. Uh, so shaky. All right, so good day today. Awesome with the new guy, 40. <laughs> That's what we're going to call this guy. God, this camera is so fucking shaky, man. Uh, I'm sorry for that. The mount is not really working well. It was a good day with the new guy. We got the landscape done, got paid for the landscape, got no checks. Had to go try to figure out what's going on with that and would learn that uh, one check or one invoice, some kind of way slipped through the cracks. So don't that just suck. But whatever. I guess eventually we'll get paid, right? It was a good day. The day ended with us trying to get the two bedroom unit done that we had today. It was just that repaint, big ass unit, almost done. Bo and his girl, they're there to wrap it up. I actually gave Bo's girl a raise today. Um, I think she was only making like 15 bucks an hour. Well, she's now making 20. I gave her a $5 an hour raise. Yeah, I did. Jump on out there, you idiot. Come on, jump out there, jump out there, jump out there. As the day wrapped up, I would end up having a decent conversation with Bo and his girl and would be made aware of the fact that getting rid of Damon yesterday was probably the best damn decision that I've made in a long time. Uh, aside from the hellacious drug problem that has been rampant with this dude, I would learn that Damon has been really stirring the pot with anybody and everybody who would listen about how much he's getting paid and how he should be making more money and how he used to do everything for me and now he doesn't do that anymore and how I'm just using Bo and his girl and the reality is is I had told Damon that he was not a top guy. I did that the last time that I brought him back. I said, you're not a top guy. And in fact, Bo has taken that place. Bo got the truck. Bo was the top guy. You can't function. You're not even a functioning drug addict. You're just 
a misery stricken drug addict who is content to just stir the pot, talk shit, and really, you know, basically felt to me like he's just trying to sabotage me because he was mad about the Bo situation and whatever. You know, it was not good to hear that from Bo and his girl that this is what Damon is telling them. And I had to try to let them know, hey, look, you know, I hope you know that that is not true. I respect the fuck out of y'all. You know, you are, and they are my top folks. This guy that I brought in today, I hope that he pans out. Seemed like a relatively decent guy. Does not have any drug problems, which is an automatic winner in my book. No hell of a painter just yet, but hopefully he can be made to be one. Hopefully he'll want to be one. And all that. So. Mm. And all that. Anyways. It was a good day. And why was it a good day? I made a little profit. I didn't have any drama I had to deal with. And we got the work done that we had to do today. Tomorrow we got one unit going. And hopefully I'm able to schedule another two bedroom color change for tomorrow. It's kind of up in the air. It would be good to have that because that would certainly help end the week on a positive note. But even if we don't have it tomorrow, next week is looking promising being that it's the beginning of October and I also heard from property I think seven they're gonna be getting me a schedule I got the schedule for property three I think we got like eight maybe ten units going all month so we're gonna we're gonna keep the ball rolling that's all I got for today thanks for taking the time I hope this was a video y'all enjoyed and I look forward to sharing more with you well you're just not gonna do well right there Thanks for taking the time, and I look forward to sharing more with you tomorrow. Until then, take care.